So while we don't have a Transformer Tuesday today, no new reveals from Hasbro, but on the other side of the globe, looks like we got some new Transformer product and pre-orders that are hitting up. Now, these are not straight from Takara Tomy. They are licensed products, more so licensing from the Hasbro side of things, be it Transformers, Magic the Gathering, and the Marvel stuff. And it is that of the Nendoroids line. Now, we've talked about Nendoroids in the past on the podcast. For people that aren't familiar with what those are, picture a Funko Pop if it didn't suck. <laughs> and I don't want to throw shade at Funko Pop, but that's literally what they are. It's a Funko Pop if it had articulation, multiple faces, you know, multiple interchangeable hands, get that cutesy, you know, SD Funko Pop kind of design, but actually make it good. Now, granted, Funko Pops are between 11 and $15, and Nendoroids, I mean, their basic scale prices are like 5,000 yen to 6,000 yen, which is about $45 to like 53 and their deluxe stuff, which is the super crazy package of stuff, uh, is usually between 7,000 yen and 8,500 yen, which is about $61, $75. The point is, the most expensive I've ever seen a Nendoroid go for is 75 bones, and those ones are crazy, and they come with a whole bunch of, you know, it's going to be a big, crazy character with a lot of accessories. So, in the past, we've had Transformer ones. We've had uh, Movie Optimus Prime and Movie Bumblebee were teased at Winter Wonder Festival in Japan in 2020. Uh, those have still not come out yet, but they will be very soon. And even before that, if you want to be, like, technical, I mean... In 2019, we had the Gridman releases of Reika and Akane, and, you know, Reika is based off of Shattered Glass Megatron, and Akane is based off of Shattered Glass Optimus Prime, so we kind of even got, you know, some, some representation there, too, in the Transformer world. But now, uh, as of today, a whole bunch of pre-orders have dropped on Good Smile's website, so if you're interested in getting them directly through the actual company itself, uh, that's one way to go about it. I buy a lot of Good Smile's products through their website directly. Uh, a lot, all the stuff that's been dropping is a whole bunch of new Nend Nendendroids, but also... Nendoroids, excuse me. But also... Um, some Magic the Gathering stuff, some Marvel stuff. So there's a whole bunch of different Hasbro licensed properties that are going to be present there in that style. But one that went up for pre-order today is that of Optimus Prime based off of his Generation 1 design. Now, how is this different than, let's say, a Funko? Let's say, well, again, it's going to come with multiple different hands. It's going to come with weapons. It's going to come with a lot of articulation and a stand and the photos will speak for itself of just how different this kind of stuff is. But scale-wise, they're about, you know, comparable to a Funko Pop. So it's more or less the same in terms of size. Now, the Optimus Prime or the G1 Convoy is the basic Nend Nendoroid price. So in this case, it's going to be 5,500 yen, so a, a little bit under $50. Uh, and it's going to get you his Ion Cannon his Energon Axe, uh, two open hands, two closed hands, which also could hold the weapon, or a pointing finger, or two directly closed fists where you can't hold the weapon. So pretty much you get three sets of hands and one pointing finger, a stand with a stand base if you want to do it for dynamic flying in the air poses, his gun and his Energon Axe, all for a little under 50 bucks. To kind of give it perspective, um, I was seeing, man, what was it? Uh, the convention exclusive Shockwave Funko Pop at one point last month was going for about $50. So, <laughs> granted, it's a lot cheaper now, and obviously, you know, the FOMO has settled down, and now you could find it in Hot Topic everywhere. But at one point, that silly thing was going for 50 bucks, where you could pick up this amazing thing for less than 50 bucks. Now, this has a pre-order date starting today, and the pre-orders will close on December 23rd of 2021, and are planned to ship out. The release date is March of 2022, so just keep that in mind if you're interested. Uh, usually, usually when you buy directly through Good Smile's website, they sometimes have bonuses with certain figures, 
Uh, Convoy, because it's a basic one here, or Optimus, because he's a basic one, doesn't have any bonus stuff. That's a web exclusive, which is sometimes common. They're going to have it with the Magic the Gathering stuff, it seems, but not with the Transformer ones. So you don't have to worry about that if you do decide to go with another company to buy this product. They did also tease that they're going to be doing a matching Megatron, G1 Megatron, with it. Uh, they just show a picture of the G1 Megatron with Optimus, but they don't show what the accessories will be. But chances are it's probably also going to be a basic Nendoroid, and probably Megatron's going to also come with two closed fists, two open fists, two holding weapon fists, and uh, probably his Energon mace, and I guess they're going to count the accessory as his, uh, his wrist cannon there, and that'll be that, his fusion cannon. So along with, of course, the, the stand and the, uh, the dynamic base. But these are, these are pretty awesome. I own a few of the Mega Man ones. I own a few of the other companies like uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. So they're pretty awesome. And they're a lot better than, than Funko Bob, let me tell you. Like it's, I guess it's just, it's the more dynamic nature. It's like comparing like an SH figure art to like, let's say a five point of articulation, you know, Western figure or something. Uh, well, you know, I mean, Funkos don't even have five points of articulation. So, I mean, maybe not even comparing to that. But either way, it's something to consider if you are interested in getting your little SD cutesy Optimus Prime action on. And this is very articulated and cool. So, again, this is pre the pre orders are up now. You could only get three per customer. Again, they have problems with scalping. So, they've limited to three per person if you buy directly through Good Smile. And again, it's going to be a little under 50 bucks if you pre order it today. Looks pretty cool. Kind of hope they do more. Again, the only ones that we've had Transformer-related-wise have been the ones I just mentioned. We got a movie B and Prime that's also out there, and then we got the two Gridman ones that are kind of semi-related. If these are successful, maybe we'll see more in the future. Again, it's always about the Legendary 7, so we'll probably see a G1 Bumblebee, maybe a G1 uh, Starscream or a Soundwave with little Nendoroid, you know, cassettes or something. I could see this doing very well. I really do. Um, Nendoroids has its own completely different subculture, much like Funko Pop collectors, and uh, I'm pretty sure these will do just fine. So let me know what you think about these. Who would you like to see after Prime and Megatron done? I mean, me personally, selfishly, I'd like to see Hot Rod done, but I don't think he would be in the cards just yet. Just yet. You know, have a little Hot Rod, comes with uh, the Matrix of Leadership, comes with a buzzsaw hand. You can keep it very simple, you know, and then multiple hands and keep them at that 5,500 price point yen or under 50 bucks. So I dig it. Who would you like to see next? What would the accessories be? And let me know if you're interested in this.